Hi everyone, welcome to my home studio. I am Coach Kelly and there's Maxwell there behind me. I don't know, can you see him? Yeah, you got him. <laughs> Hi Maxwell. Today's program is a 36 minute workout. We have to warm up though. That takes five and a half minutes with a strap and then we'll cool down with seven minute cool down with the strap. What you need to know about today's workout is you need a range of weights. I've got light to heavy weight, and also I've added five seconds on to the time. Today, the exercises will be for 25 seconds. So you'll see the difference just adding on five seconds of time. This will be a tough workout. Let's get it done together, and then you'll be on your way. Thanks for joining me. All right, let's do it. Music on, pause it if you need to put on some music. I've got my Spotify playlist, bootcamp tempo music. Let's begin with a squat and a pull apart right here. Squat, pull apart, squat, pull apart. Notice that I'm at a little faster pace. That's the beat of my music. Squat, pull it apart. Slow it down if you need to. Pull it apart. Do it again. One more. Let me turn some lights on. There you go. <laughs> All right. Sweep forward and then turn. You see the shadows behind me. I'm recording late. I had so much going on, but I'm getting it done. It's important, not just for you, but for myself. Lunge and then turn, reach. All right, so now reach up and over. My shoestring is untied. That's okay, I'll tie it in a moment. Right there, up and over, touch your foot, sweep back, touch your foot, sweep up and over, do it again. Sweep up and over, reach down, touch. Up and over, and sweep. Nicely done. Bring it to the mat. Lizard with rotation. So lift your knee, reach up, rotate under. Point your elbow towards the floor, reach up. Look at your hand. Reach, up, reach, and then up. Look up at your arm as you reach. Reach up. And down. Reach up and down. Now the hamstring stretch real quick. And I'll tie my shoe real quick. <laughs> there we go. All right, other side. Hand on the floor. Lift up your knee. Reach up. Rotate under. Reach up. Look up at your arm. And then point your elbow towards the floor. Reach. Point it under. Reach, one more time, set your knee on the floor, hamstring stretch, flatten your back. You'll notice a difference when you flatten your back. Now come to hands and knees, cat and cow. Cat, cow, cat, cow. Exhale, cat, inhale, look forward, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Come down to your belly all the way. Reach your arms. Lift the arms and legs at the same time. Lift and lower. Look down at your mat or the floor. Lift up. Now do alternating right, left leg. Left arm, right leg. So opposing limbs. Lift, and I'm pushing down in my opposite arm, my opposite hand. Do it one more time. Nicely done. And then come into a straight plank. This is actually called a full plank with straight arms. Then lift up your hips, downward facing dog. Plank. Downward facing dog. Plank to downward facing dog. Do it again, plank, downward facing dog. 
and then plank. Now stand up and get into some movement on the mat. Pump your arms, shuffle your feet, <laughs> turn your heels in, pump your arms, and elevate the heart rate right there. Stay with my pace. Pace with me. Think of me as your pace car. Come on. Now, jump rope. Turn your rope. Bounce on the balls of your feet. Turn the rope. Nicely done. Keep going. Bounce, bounce. Light landing. Not a big lift. Not a big hop. You're just trying to get that imaginary rope under your feet. Last move, jumping jacks. Keep going. Nicely done, come on. Three, two, and one. Done. Get some water. Do you want to go out, Maxwell? <coughs> Setting the timer exactly 36 minutes. Let's do it. I'm picking up my 15 pound weights for the first tri set and the first super set. You can go with 10s or 12s. Starting the timer, so squat to pick up your weight, and from the side, it's a single leg, both arms holding, or both hands holding weights, single leg RDL. So right here, RDL, and then come back up. Look forward, RDL, and then look as you stand up. Look down at, your, at the floor, and then when you come up, look forward and you're bringing your hip back slightly as you reach the leg straight. Get your balance. Nicely done. And now, a squat right there. So, both feet on the ground. Squat, bring the weights down the side of the legs. It's called a suitcase hold squat. So you gotta manage it. Watch your chest from hinging forward too much. Squat, and now we're gonna put those two together. So that right leg goes back, and then squat. Right leg goes back, and then squat. Do it again, RDL, and squat. Nicely done. RDL, and squat. Excellent. Let's do the other side. So three times. Shoulders back, and here we go. So left leg, right leg standing, RDL, and then lift up. I'm bringing the weights right and directly in front of my shin, not too far away. So press into your foot, the ball of your foot, reach the, the left leg back. Try to get it more straight. If you can point your toes down. Now squat, both feet on the ground. Squat, stand up. Squat, stand up. Squat, stand up. Squat, shoulders down from the ears. Hold the weight strong. Do it again. Do one more. And now RDL. Foot on the ground, squat. RDL. Foot on the ground, squat. Do it again. RDL. And stand, squat. Again. And squat. Excellent. The second move. Frontal raise, 
with a lunge. All right, so we'll do two rounds of this. Go back to the RDL. So first, frontal raise. And the first round, I want you to do thumbs up. Standing tall, relax the shoulders down, reach. Working the front of your shoulders. Press your foot down, both feet down, abs in. And now alternate, or actually right side only. Right side only. Stay on that right leg going back. Stay right side and then left side. Keep that going. So lunge, hold the weight strong. This should be, I didn't mention, eight to 10 pound weights. Now, frontal raise and lunge that same leg. Reach. You wanna have lighter weight right here so that you can manage the workload and those arms going forward carefully. Heart rate increasing. Nicely done. Second side. So left leg steps back, but first let's do a frontal lift. And this time put, have your palms facing down. Don't lift higher than your shoulders right there. So not too high. Back of the hand facing the ceiling. Nice. One more time. And now left leg lunges. Step together. Lunge. Step together. Hold the weight strong. Lunge. Step together. Lunge. Step together. Lunge. Do it again. Now let's put that together on the lunge. So lunge and reach, step together. Lunge and reach. Good job, come on. Excellent. Nicely done. Excellent, nicely done, okay. Set the weight down. Going back to the first move, RDLs and then squats. This time, both legs planted, both feet planted on the ground. RDL, come up and squeeze. Reach a little bit lower than halfway. Stand up and squeeze. Reach, squeeze. Reach and squeeze. Reach down and up. Reach. Nicely done. And here's a reverse squats. <laughs> I had to think for a moment. So we're combining RDL and squat. That's what I get for doing this late, right? Squat, stand up. Hold the weight strong. Do it again. All right, so now RDL. Stand up and squat. RDL, stand up and squat. Do it again. RDL and squat. Do it again. RDL and then squat. Nicely done. The next move, you'll use lighter weight. I'm gonna go with eights on this. So reverse lunge with a frontal lift. Right here, it's an alternating, but first let's do a frontal lift to the front, right in front of the shoulders, right there. From the front looks like this. And I do have my feet staggered, by the way. From the side. Yeah, there you go. 
<laughs> now I'll do an alternating reverse lunge. Nice. Do it again. Beautiful. Excellent. And now combination lunge with a frontal. You can turn your thumbs up or the backs of the hands pointing up. Palms facing down. Your choice here. Do it again. Good. Breathe. And you're done. We're moving on. So set that down. Grab a quick sip of water. The next thing, lightweight again. Tricep extensions. So let's go up overhead, behind, and lift. So it's one of the best ways to work the triceps. Arms overhead and lowering. Lift up and down. The second move is a curtsy. And then we'll do a curtsy with a tricep kickback. All right, so now curtsy, right leg, step together. Right leg. <clears throat> Stay on the right leg. Hold the weight strong. Stay with me. Right leg only. Curtsy. So you're getting your balance on that left leg so that when you step back and hold, stabilize, do a tricep kick back. Step back, curtsy, tricep kick back. And you don't have to lift it high. You're just reaching back and then step together. Do it again. Lunge, or curtsy lunge, curtsy, reach, and nicely done. Excellent. Now we'll do the other side. So first, weights together, over the head, facing you, looks like this. Arms near your ears, so it should be lighter, not so heavy that you can't manage it. You should not be feeling this mostly in your shoulders. It's the back of the arms. And if you press the, your hands towards each other, you'll feel it more in the triceps. The other thing is arms near your ears. Right there. And now weights down and curtsy, curtsy left leg. Curtsy and stand. So my right leg is the stabilizer, the standing leg, or the working leg. Lunge, step together. Lunge, and I want to keep it at this tempo so we build strength. Now lunge, reach, and step together. Lunge, hold, reach, and step together. Do it again. Lunge, reach, and step together. Do it again. Reach, and once more, lunge, reach. Looks like we can get one more. Excellent. Nicely done. The second of the two moves, low to high. Pick up a 12 or a 15-pound weight. So we're going to go across the center line of the body. Feet like this. You'll reach and bring that weight and press, reach, and press. Do it again, reach, press, again, and now change sides, reach, and then up, reach, bring it up, do it again, Reach down and press it up. You're at a slight diagonal right there. And then widen your feet. 
Here's the lunge with a dribble. And you can reach the opposite hand back right there. So dribble, dribble, you can go faster or keep it slow. The main thing is you wanna have your hips back. Dribble. Nicely done. Excellent work. Let's go back to the first move. So the first move is a tricep extension and then a curtsy. Up and over. Stay with me. So here's where you stay focused, even though we've been at, in that in work mode for almost halfway at this point. Almost there. Once we're through with this superset, you'll be there. Reach. So I'll face center and do a curtsy, alternating right and then left. So this one we're going to alternate. Hold the weight strong. Excellent. Reach. And now lunge, curtsy, hold, tricep kick back, step together. Curtsy, tricep kick back, step together. Curtsy, tricep kick back, step together. Curtsy. Excellent. The next move is the crossbody move. I'm going to try with a little bit heavier weight. I feel like I can do that related to thinking about the first round. So try a little heavier, reach, change at your chest, and then reach up. And I'm going at a slight diagonal reach. So that works your core muscles, your obliques, Muscles in the sides, reach, down, and then up. Now the other side, reach, and then bring it up. Do it again, reach, bring it up. Nicely done. Press, reach down, pull that weight up, reach, Reach down, and then up, and then here's your wide feet, side to side. And you want to keep your knee over your ankle. So look at your knee, make sure it's not going out to the sides, and you're working your inner thighs right here. Juggle the weight in the center. Excellent. All right. We're going to do one more round of that to even up. All right. The first move had a right and left side. So we need to do one more round. So reach and then bring it up. Reach and press it up. So I've, I've reduced my weight to 12 after doing that last set at 15. Reach up. Again, get your form right. Each move you're working on, good form. Other side, bring it to your ankle and then reach up. Ankle, change it your chest, reach. Again. Nice, reach. Excellent. Here's your dribble. Dribble. Ch -ch. Get into that beat or that tempo. Coordination. Work in the glutes. Inner thighs. <clears throat> Clear my throat. And you're there. Now we move on. Okay, static lunge. 
You ready for that? And then we take it to the floor. So static lunge, use one dumbbell right here. So step side right and bring the weight up here. You can also step side and reach in the center. So right here, if you do this, it works more your inner thigh. If you reach to the foot, it reaches or it works more the glute right there. And now press over head, one arm. So straight up. Press one side, grip strong, your palm facing your ear. This is memorable. <laughs> Come on. Reach. And now let's combine it. Press. Reach. Straight up. You got it. Come on. And nicely done. All right, let's do the other side. And then we'll take it to the floor. So hold the weight strong. You ready? So step out, reach, bring the weight up to your shoulder. Step out, reach, weight to the shoulder. Bring your glutes back. Hip go, goes back, weight in your heel. Bring the weight up to your shoulder. Now overhead press. One arm, straight arm, palm facing your ear, straight up, reach. We're gonna combine the moves. Get ready. Heavy weight. Let's do it. Combine. Lunge. Weight up. Press. Lunge. Press. Come on. Reach. Press. Nicely done. All right. Now we're going to take it to the floor, to your mat. Hopefully you have a mat. Put the weight this direction. Hands on the floor. Keep your knees down. And you're going to stabilize, contracting your abs. Move the dumbbell over to one side. So behind the wrist. And you want to have your wrists are the, yeah, the wrists underneath your shoulders. So don't be at an angle, in other words. So the hands, you'll notice it's harder, more effort, if your wrist is under your shoulder like that. Now lift one knee up. Stabilize and move it. Set that knee down. Change. Other knee up. Set it down. Move the weight. Set the knee down. And I want you to set the weight down very gently. So you shouldn't hear the weight when you set it down. So I'm trying to manage now both knees up that the floor doesn't shake because <laughs> this is the straight line from the camera. So I'm very careful to set it down and to not interrupt the good recording. So imagine that. And I am sweating up here. Wipe your sweat. How about that? There we go. All right. Let's do it again. This time we're going to alternate. We did the right and left side. So let's start on this side. So reach. Change at your chest. Reach. Change at your chest. Reach. One dumbbell. Dumbbell. 
We're going to grab the other dumbbell, and you can lighten up the weight if you need to. Straight up. Both feet planted. Straight up. Palms beside the ears are facing the ears. Up. Press your feet down. <clears throat> Straight up. Okay, so now step outside and then reach. Bring it up overhead. Carefully. Lunge. Bring the weight up and reach overhead. Side. Reach. Bring it up overhead. Nicely done. Set that weight down. Two rounds of the plank with the dumbbell pass. So this is called a plank hold, dumbbell pass with progressions. So set up first, fingers spread. And I can look in the mirror right here and see if my shoulders are over my wrists. So if there's a straight line, I can feel my opposite side contracting as I pick the weight up and move it over. Lift up your right knee, move it over. Try it again, do it better this time. So knees in a little bit closer for that. So knee up, move it over, set it down, opposite knee. Super hard, right? Do it again. Very hard, manage it. Do it again. And now full plank. Move the weight over, set it down. Move the weight over, set it down. Ah, I heard that. Set it down. Keep going. Nicely done. Again. Wipe your sweat. One more round. Can you do it? Let's get some, get a towel. Here we go. <clears throat> Knees down. Bring it over, hand on the floor. Bring it over, hand on the floor. Reach. Your fingers should be spread. That's helping you balance, by the way. Working hard up here. All right, so right knee up. Move the weight. Left knee up. Move the weight. Now do this. How about this? Okay, so you're going to lift your left knee. Move the weight over to the left side. Lift the right knee. That works better. It's a little easier. Left knee, but the other one works just as well. Obviously, or a little harder. Okay, here we go. Bring it up. Last time. Press your fingers down. You got it. Come on. Nice. And you're done. Move that weight. Guess what? We're done with that. And it's time for the last, the fourth superset. Put the band on your feet, right over the shoelaces, and lie down. Legs up, split it apart. Hands behind the head, lift up and lower. Feels super good on your back, right? On the ground, elbows out, lift, lower. Don't pull on your head. All right, so now if you feel comfortable in your lower back, you can also put your hands underneath your hips right there so that your back is supported or hands on the floor. Pull the strap apart. Pull it apart. Do it again. And now hold right here. 
bicycle. It takes a moment to get this. But you got to flex your feet or pull your toes towards you so that you keep that band on your feet right there. Nice. The second move, you'll stand up. Okay. So rather than doing a sumo jack like we did, like we did the last time, let's do some calf pumps. So here, raise your heels. This is good to get some calf work in so that the lower part of your leg is strengthened also. Balancing out the strength in your legs. So right here, you're just lifting up at a normal lift. Reach the arms back. Pinkies go back. And now I want you to go quick lift. So quick, pop the heels up. Quick, quick. Do it again. Excellent. Come on, quick. And now hold at the bottom and hop. So a plyometric, but soft landing. Don't plunk. As you come down, melt into the squat. And you can try to go higher and higher each time. Or just keep it the same. Stamina. A little muscle burn, right? <laughs> okay. Round two of three. We are almost done, guys. So split apart, crunch. Lift up, lower. Split it apart. That engages the outside of your hips and the lower part of your, of your abs. Lift lower. Hands on the floor. Up. Lift the hips. Up. Nicely done. You ready? All right. Bicycle. Legs out. Keep going. Take strap off. Okay? <laughs> okay, let's do it. We're almost there. Two more rounds. So just lift the heels. Reach your pinkies back. My fingers are together. So your feet should be underneath your hips also, not too far apart. You want to be able to stabilize doing this. Now, quick lift, quick to the top, quick. And now, hold and hop. Hop. Try to go higher. More power. More power. Do it again. Come on. Work hard. Play hard. Come on. Nice. One more. <laughs> Woo. Here's our last one. 
Aren't you excited? <laughs> okay. Lower down, split it apart, up. The added five seconds, you definitely feel the difference. Just a couple of more reps in that five seconds. Now hands at the hips or under the hips. Lift. Continue to split the band apart. I'm using my lower abs to lift my hips up. You ready? Get ready for bicycle. Here you go. Touch, slow, controlled. Watch the band, pull your toes back. The last plyometric. Make sure you have your bend ready. We're gonna go right into the stretch. So we're done, okay? You ready? Squat, heel raise. A nice hill raise right there. Nothing complicated. Just lift those hills. Squeeze the glutes just slightly right there are the quads. If you press on your feet, it happens automatically. All right, so now go quick, 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 quick. Reach the heels up, arms go back. That's a tricep strengthener right there with the arms because you're extending the arms back. Hold, and here we go. 25 seconds of your life to finish the workout. Soft landing, soft landing. Come on, again. Soft landing, a little space between you and the ground. Beautiful job, one more, and you are done. Excellent. Are you sweaty? Did you get your hair messed up? <laughs> Catch your breath. Let's go to the cool down. 10 moves. So widen your feet. As you feel your heart rate, mm, feels good. Reach up, stretch the part, the strap apart. I didn't press start. <laughs> Pull the strap apart. And then you're gonna keep reaching behind with straight arms. Tap, reach, tap. Straight arms, tap, tap. How you doing? Reach over. By the time we're done with the cool down, your heart rate should fully recover. And now hold right here. And you can slightly bend this knee over here and reach down and touch your shoelaces or the top of your foot. Straighten that right leg, slightly bend the other knee, and reach. And then up, do it again on the other side. So opposing limbs, toe touch. And then tricep stretch. So look, bring your hand behind your head. You can step together right here. Point your elbow up and the opposite elbow down. Right there, nicely done. High five to you for getting this workout done. I hope you feel like you've accomplished something. So remember, whatever time of day it is that you're doing this, 
when you get to the end of all the stuff you have to do, reflect, not change sides, reflect on that you got your workout done. So if you feel like you still have more stuff to do, turn that around, reframe, and think, I worked out. I got it done. Even if you're used to working out, you still deserve a little self-compassion. And seeing the bright spots. All right, so now let that go. Let's do a quad stretch. You can grab your foot, your shoelace, your, your foot, specifically the shoelaces, or use your strap and reach up. And again, I say this always, if you need one of these straps, just send me a comment and I will tell you how to get it or I'll send you one. I have plenty. I keep them in stock. For my personal training clients, chain sides. All right, so bring it up and then reach. But if you comment and tell me you need one, you have to give me more information and I'll, I'll direct message you. Reach that arm so that the, the quad is getting stretched with the heel close to the glute right there. Excellent work. And so now we're bringing it down. You're probably fully recovered right now, but stay with me. These moves are only 25 seconds each. And there's just like, we're halfway through. Shift your hip forward. Don't lift your knee but press into this, the inside of this knee right here, and you can turn this foot out and look over your shoulder. I'm gonna let my foot drop over so I can see the bottom of my shoe and get a really good stretch in the inner thigh, groin. All right, so now walk your hands back, hamstring stretch, just for a moment, flatten your back, notice how that feels, draw the hip under, notice how that feels, and now chain sides. So shift forward, hand on the floor, spread your fingers, reach your hand to the inside of the knee, press into the knee, my foot's gonna come up, that feels good. If that feels good, press into the inside of your rear leg and let your knee go over, and look over your shoulder. All right, walk it in, hamstring stretch. Draw the hip under, flatten your back, hands right here. Knee underneath, cat cow, cat. Cow, cat, and then cow. And the 90-90 stretch is coming up next. One more time. And now sit. Bring one, four, one shin forward, one shin side. Face this direction, put your hand right here, hand right here, and then lean over. Put your forearms down. Hip stretch, lower back stretch, palms on the floor, forearms on the floor, and I've got my forearms parallel. I'm flexing my feet. Lift up, change sides. So hand here, hand here, to square yourself, and then Forearms right here. Ankles pressing down. Spread your fingers. Inhale, exhale. How are you feeling? So good, right? Come up, malasana, yogi squat. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn to the side. My toes are turned out, my heels are down. If your heels are up, that's okay. This is great for lengthening, stretching the lower back. Thumbs to your breastbone or to the heart right there. The sternum, I should say sternum. Look forward, pressure knees, your elbows into your knees. Hands on the floor, forward fold. Drop your head. Let's do a twist right here. Try to straighten your legs with your hands on the floor. If you can't do that, bend your knees. Place your hand in the center, reach the right arm up. Straighten your legs as much as you can. Change sides. Okay. 
hand down and lift up all the way. Grab your strap one final time. It's very useful. Feet apart and then lean over. Look up. Center, other side. Look up. And then center. Nicely done, sweep over. Relax the shoulders and get rid of that. Give yourself a big hand, nicely done. High fives. Thanks for showing up. Leave a comment if you have the time. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, bye.